But uh, we're picking up my new car. C262 on it. What is up, YouTube? We call this music. So right now, you might be wondering what we're doing right now. I'm with Awad. Picking up my new car. We're headed to JW Speed Factory in Harrington, Delaware. Uh, as you can see, the weather's super great today. Just kidding. It sucks. Hopefully it's gonna like pass by, but we're gonna go pick up my new car because when I bought it, it had upgraded fuel pumps, but they're boosted pumps, so apparently they're really crappy. We got a Wallboard 450 in there now. I'm gonna go pick that up, and we're gonna uh, see what I got. Three hours later. All right, we made it to the shoppy shop. There's a uh, monkey guy, Jimmy. <laughs> we got some pretty sick, uh, pretty sick whips in here. A whole bunch of S2Ks. And then here's the update on the truck. He blew it up. But uh, yeah, the truck blew up. Getting everything uh, rebuilt, so we can we can make he can make more boost. Got another Honda. It's a little 6262 on it. Nothing special. But here, I'm gonna review my new car. Got this RX7. Just kidding. I wish I got the RX7. Let's see my car. Let's see. Super poopy day today. But let's go peep my new car. You guys ready? Here she is. Poop. Ooh. Oh. Look at this photograph. We got me a nice CTSV. It's a 2005. It's got a fully upgraded rear and just like bolt-ons and stuff. But she's um she's clean as hell. Alright, so she's up. Car seems pretty legit. Here's the exhaust cutouts. That's why it's loud as hell. It's just, I don't know, the previous owner, I don't know if he made this or had exhaust, but this is all goofy. I might get that fixed. But it's fine for now. But we, we got some work done. We gotta get some work done. Get these Jimmy Jammies out. Oh wait, yeah, that's it. So we can put the wall bar in. But uh, like what Jimmy said, there's nothing to it just to do it, bitch. <laughs> JW Speed. All right, three years, five days. We've been in here. We're gonna uh, lower the subframe, see if we can get these out. We had to drain out these, uh, cause the dude who I bought it from filled up the gas tank, which is, I mean, I appreciate it. Don't mess with mine, my hair needs haircut. But I appreciate the uh, fill up, but it did us no good cause we had to drain it out. It was taking forever cause we had to like finesse a little system. So, but we got most of it out. There's about 13 gallons. We spilled like another gallon. So we're gonna try to get the subframe down. Hopefully these pop right out. And then there's more notifications. We don't care about. But uh, once we get that all done, we're gonna uh, show you the tanks and then I guess see what, how to get this fuel pump in there. So basically we just undid the subframe and uh, so we can get this, oh shoot, <laughs> that was all the way up there. So we can get this uh, fuel tank out, get the new wall borer 450 in there. Be good to go for the tune tomorrow, see what she makes. Comment down below what you think she's going to make on the dyno. I'm not going to put any numbers out because I'm cool. We did it the right way, just to figure out. Someone did it the easy way. It's a good learning experience. But to all you uh, V1 CTSB owners, um, looks like this is gonna be your best bet, but doing it the right way is always the best way to do it though. Right, Jimmy? Do it right the first time. So this is what we had to get out of the fuel tank. Now he's just gonna disassemble and I guess uh, install the new pump. <laughs> So Jimmy had to custom fab the fitting on there because it was like a whole big thing. But if you just cut it up a little bit, it, it should fit pretty good. If you guys run into that problem to where it's not fitting, you gotta custom it, custom fab it. But uh, it's in there and she should uh, definitely work now. Almost there. We got, um, he has to 
splice these two wires to this because uh, I guess if you put this in the stock one, it's gonna push too much power and melt it. So, gotta splice the wires. All right, so we're ready to put this back in. I'm not gonna bore you with all this uh, reinstall stuff. I'm pretty sure you guys get the gist, but I'll be back when we uh, get everything put together. <sighs> Pretty much done here. We just gotta, he's has to run the new harness for the new fuel pump. And then take out all the boosted pump crap. Well, the pump whacked. And we got the, uh, my hair looks crazy. We got the V running for the tune tomorrow. I wanna thank Jimmy from JW Speed Factory. Go check out all of his stuff below. If you guys are in the Delaware or Maryland area, definitely come check him out. Good work, and he's uh, he does it right. Like, he doesn't cut corners or anything. But uh, comment, rate, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always repping.